I think it's going to be an op awesome opportunity. Uh, I think the year is going to be great. Um, I, I played at Guelph. Uh, I coached at Guelph. Uh, spent many years in the city. I have a lot of friends there and uh, a lot of uh, people in the basketball community that are looking uh, forward to this uh, team. And they're excited and uh, I'm super excited. Well, when I first initially started my career after coaching uh, as an assistant at the University of Guelph, my first four or five years were coaching professional. And so um, it, for me, it's just an, a way to come back to Canada um, and, and, you know, everything I learned and, you know, trial and tribulations, how to deal with a pro athlete compared to the uh, collegiate athlete. Uh, I think they'll all come to form. And also just the relationships that I have with the Canadian players, uh, being part of NIDA, the National League Development Program, and being part of uh, the target athlete group for Canada basketball. And so I've seen a lot of these guys come up and go to their NCAA now or, or, or you know, playing professionally. A few of them actually have seeked me out, you know, beforehand to help them get uh, contracts or at least open contact, uh, contacts for them. And I think that's the strength. And I think that's going to allow uh, us at Guelph at the, with the Nighthawks to really build a really strong Canadian core. And then uh, with the NCAA players, I do have a lot of relationships too with Division One coaches, especially assistants, and can really, you know, tap into guys are coming out. Kids are playing from five years up. It's just like hockey. There's skills, there's strength, there's video video guys in the game. There's people that can promote the kids and uh, it's straight up a viable business. So uh, professional basketball in our country, I've seen three or four different, you know, takeoffs or spin off on it. And I, I think that the CEBL is really fit in the right window to really allow it to, to maximize A, our Canadian talent and B, just that time frame during the year where people uh, traditionally aren't doing much, you know, unless you're a lacrosse fan. Uh, and uh, let's get back in the gym and enjoy it with the best Canadians possible. Well, we'll be in the community uh, for sure. Uh, my lead assistant is from Guelph. His name is Steve Cuevas. He has his own uh, organization up there called Ball for All, where he's been doing great work in the community for you know 20 years, giving back to uh, you know the uh, people that don't have a lot of cash. When we were at Guelph and it was reading week and stuff like that, they always used to do our games of the week because the the, the gyms were full. Uh, you know, we'd have 1,500 people in the gym on a reading week where other schools might have 400, you know, and uh, very strong sense of community down there. People really, really like a winner and, and they like people that compete hard and they like people that show up and, you know, we'll do clinics in the in the community. We'll, we'll, we'll get in the schools. Uh, we'll get involved with the clubs and help them out as much as possible, you know, from a technical side or just having our players, you know, interact with their with their uh, athletes. I know from my contacts, they're going to be national team players, uh, national, you know, B team players. I believe there's 30 odd guys that play with the national team this year. Um, you know, I, of the 30 guys, I probably know 28 personally. Um, you know, I'm going up to the top guys, but there are other guys that are out there that people really don't know that are pros playing, you know, all over the world that have Canadian passports. Those guys that are playing in the top league over there could be players that end up in our league that no one has ever heard of except for me. So I'm not telling you the names either. Well, we want to win. Like, we want to win. Our goal is to win the championship. Our goal is to win every game. We want to play, you know, the right way. Um, you know, we want to play with discipline. We want to be play fast, uh, move the ball, hit open shots. We got to play in the quarter court. We will. If we have to play in transition, we will. Uh, we want to be def defensive responsible. And, you know, at the end of it, we want to put show on too. You know, we want to be playing above the rim as much as possible, shooting the threes and getting the kids off the seats, and the parents clapping and everyone happy. So, uh, again, the experience, the Nighthawk experience, hopefully will be second to none in the, in the CEBL. I've been traditionally been a, a bit of an old school guy uh, as far as I like playing through my, my center. Um, as the years have gone and basketball has changed, uh, you know, we still play through our bigs, uh, you know, quite a bit, but it's more of a flow sort of offense. We're going to be fast. We're really going to get down the floor. We're really going to defend. We'll shoot the three well, and uh, we'll be able to execute within it within our quarter court. Um, you know, one thing I pride myself on with all my teams is that we execute. So my favorite, my, my favorite line is, you know, um, we don't lose games. You have to beat us. You know, we're not coming out here and saying, oh, yeah, we lost. No, you have to beat us. We're playing until the buzzer goes every single time we put the uniform on. They love basketball and uh, they're hardworking uh, or, uh, community. And if you work hard for them and you're honest and say, this is who we are and you play hard, that they'll, they'll come. Uh, you also have to support them. You have to get people in the gym and you get a champion, the basketball legacy with, with, within Guelph, which there's a lot, a lot of think that we need to champion them within our games. And I think we do those things, people will come and they'll give us a chance and then he's gonna win games, man. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity now to come home in the summer. You know, it's a great opportunity to play in front of your family and, and your loved ones and, you know, add additional revenue to your bank account. You know, like, let's be honest, it's professional basketball. But what it also will do will allow, you know, the children coming up to see the level. 
I want to have the similar thing happen within our community in Guelph for the Nighthawks, where you know one day maybe some boy or girls dribble in the, in the thing, so I can be a Nighthawk one day. You know, and uh, I think it's neat, and I and it, it's it's time.